Robo with uh, the Southwest Florida Real Estate Investment Association. Here to give you an update on the October 2011 Lee County foreclosure trends. Uh, we download this data from public records. You can uh, go to leeclerk.org, uh, the public search that even exports to Excel. And last month we had 643 mortgage related list pendants. Uh, the previous month we had 570, so we have a slight month over month increase, about 10%. And the previous year we had 656. This is the first month that we have not had a huge month over month reduction. So it's definitely, uh, we're finding a valley within the trend. Actually, a, a flat would be the proper word. Uh, certificates of title, this is a clerk conveying a deed. We had 440 last month, 442 the previous month. October of last year we had 1156. So what that tells you truthfully is going into season we're not going to have very much REO inventory which we really don't have now particularly in the price points the market's been used to and in the asset classes it's been used to they're coming out bigger nicer or more expensive here's the deeds transferred you have the peak of the trend actually here but then you had another one here and then this is the RoboDocs kicking in and then it weeds, and then they conveyed out what they could, and now it's kind of forming a uh, forming uh, uh, a floor here, or at least the last two months. Two months should never make a trend, but I think the way to look at this is to take here and just draw a straight line to there, with this being uh, an anomaly caused by something outside of the uh, the mathematical forces driving the trend. Total list pendants. Here's the left side of the bell right side of the bell here again is the robo docs you had a valley we've got a slight bump up what we're processing here anecdotally I examined a few cases and I'm finding that a lot of the cases that were voluntarily dismissed here in this time frame are now being refiled here particularly under a new entity I didn't know whether the new entity was the actual note holder who's now coming forward to claim their collateral or whether it's just the bank sold the note. Uh, time will tell which one they are. Here's from the peak of the trend going forward. Gives you an idea what's going on. Yes, uh, list pendants are trending up. Uh, I honestly think also they're going to try and put everything they can into this year. Here's the total trends together. Uh, the blue line is list pendants, the pink line is certificates of title, the deeds transferred, and this will really give you more of an indication of what's going on with the backlog and the actual caseload at the courthouse. Top 10 filers, Bank America, JP Morgan. Uh, what's significant about this is these two disappear during the robo docs, and now you've got the two guys who quit filing for, I want to say, five to six months are now leading the charge which tells me that they're now they're, they've turned the spigot back on here to talk about some stuff we've got going on the RIA this month this coming Thursday the third we have our Lee County lunch and I'm gonna be doing an update on the Lee County residential market as we approach season we're gonna talk about a few things we're gonna talk about what areas are still showing a distressed sales percentage over sixty percent what areas are rising in price what price regions in the market are growing okay we're going to have very specific topics and this is great information going into season to help you form your game plan either as an investor as an agent as whatever you do within the real estate market we have our general meeting which is Wednesday the 16th this month uh, Dana Burnett is the new economic development director for the city of Cape Coral him and Audie Lewis who's the business recruitment specialist will be coming in to talk about Cape Coral and business for business recruitment and growth uh, there's a lot of programs going on that a lot of people don't understand which I heard uh, Audi speak a few months ago and had no idea there was a duty-free zone in Cape Coral little things like that that could be an extra detail that could help you in your business model and then every Sunday at 10 a.m. we have a real estate show called real estate best buys uh, the RIA is part of this and it goes on every Sunday morning FM on 98.9 and then if not you can go to the real website and there's a tab to uh, grab the old shows you can stream or download it so uh, thanks for watching this if you have any questions shoot me